I think this is so important for us to see as we, we look at Saul's life to be reminded that there's a lot of people that are sorrowful over their sin. A lot of people who, who shed tears over their sin, sorrow and crying over sin is commonplace. And I'll tell you what's uncommon is sorrow that leads to repentance. And what, what, what Paul is saying here is there's a sorrow that leads to death. And there's a sorrow and a grief that leads to life. And I think it's really important that we know the difference. If it, if it pertains to our eternal de destination, we better understand clearly what Paul's saying there. And I think what he's saying is this. Godly sorrow, know this, godly sorrow over sin is always God-focused. I'll give you quick, three quick things. Sorrow, godly sorrow that leads to repentance is always God-focused, meaning the primary desire of my heart when I am confronted with sin in my life is not my circumstances. It's not even other people. My primary concern when sin is revealed in my life is my relationship to God. It's the heart that says, God, I don't really, I don't really care the consequences. I just can't lose you. 